Welcome to The Good Work, a podcast and video series that follows The Event Company, an event design company that specializes in corporate, nonprofit, and social events. Our passion lies in creating one-of-a-kind events that share the good work of organizations we are fortunate to collaborate with. Tune in for conversations with leaders of these great groups, our best advice for your next event, and some behind-the-scenes moments. Now, let us show you the good work. With graduation season just around the corner, it's time to talk about the graduation parties, these parties that make milestones so very special. In this episode of The Good Work, Addie and Callie will share their best expertise to begin the party planning and make the day memorable. From the food to the personal touches, we'll share it all. Please welcome to today's vodcast, Addie and Callie. Caps off to you, Callie Troutman. Hi. (laughs) What do you think about that intro? Yeah, I don't really know what like caps off to. Like, what did I do today? (laughs) Do something. (laughs) We are talking all things graduation today. It's crazy that people are going to be graduating in a little over two months-ish. That is kind of crazy. Especially when we have snow and we just came out of the polar vortex a few weeks ago. Yep. 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 (laughs) Nobody thinks about it's like this. This is a time of year, though, that nobody thinks about golf, outdoor parties, graduations, still camping about golf a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It's because you're like a professional golfer, pretty much. You know, but I also think it's weird because I'm now kind of rolling up to like my one year gra- like post college graduation yeah. so it's kind of a weird time to like think like oh I've been out for a year almost it's kind of crazy I was like it was just yesterday so, so we are going to chat it up about graduation parties mm-hmm. high school college we you were just talking said with preschool we were just talking <laughs> with Nate just a second ago our producer about yeah preschool graduations he remembers him standing in all black um in some of his preschool graduation pictures what was yours Ooh, I think I was in a blue dress with like the paper cap. Oh yeah, everybody. I had paper, paper cap caps. Too. All my friends who, yeah. some of them are still my friends. So that's cool. Mine was at a community center in my small town of Central City, Nebraska, mm-hmm. and I had on this white um, just T-shirt. And I remember we had to, and I just saw this picture the other day. That's why I remember it. But I think we had to like make this hand bear print, like out of oh. finger print, like finger painting on your yeah. shirt. And then I had these purple, like pastel purple shorts. Cool. On and high tops. Yeah. White cool. high tops. <laughs> yeah, that was. I back, feel like we made back in the we, 80s. Yeah, we like made something too for our graduation that we were like then almost like presented back to us. <laughs> like we made something <laughs> if I remember correctly. Interesting. I don't know. Well, graduation but parties have changed. They have changed. And it's fun to see them kind of transpire and be different because. Things that we used to do, even our high school graduation parties are just so different now. And Mm -hmm. I love it, not just from the party aspect, but I love that the students and those that are graduating uh, really have a hand in the party planning aspect. It seems like all the graduation parties that we've been a part of, that graduate, um, or do you call them soon-to-be graduate? Graduate? I think you can still say they graduate. Graduate. Yeah. Um, They are a part of the process, literally from the beginning, from our first meetings, to really the ending piece and some actually keep their items afterwards too which is fun so let's get into it okay where do you want to start why don't we start about like the first part of planning these okay. graduations okay. how i would say start now <laughs> right, right if you haven't started i would say start now yeah a yep, couple months sure. out um, in the planning process but you need to first determine where you're going to host it at right yeah because sometimes these high school graduations and college for that matter are done at homes Sometimes they're in hotels. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're in parks. They're at churches. They're at so many different spots. I think making sure you've got the right venue for the party is important. Really for any party, but especially for graduation. Because you want that graduate to be able to connect with it, right? Yeah. I mean, mine's my garage, so. Yeah. I think a lot of parties, though, that we've done for graduations are at homes. Yeah. You know, for the most part. Because that's where they're comfortable at. That's where the family is. They're not spending a lot of money, extra money, on hosting at an out or um at a separate space. venue. Yeah. But they do, like you just said, they kind of utilize the space, right? So they're utilizing the garage. Yeah. And outdoor, outdoor space. Outdoor, yeah. We outdoor have space. A big backyard of my house. So that's where a lot of it took place. But I think uh 
I personally, I can say like a date is also a thing because yeah. depending on like, I grew up in a smaller town, but um, in my year, I don't, I, I don't think anyone in my class went off after, you know, we had graduation Saturday and you all pretty much had your parties after um, See, the that's ceremony. New to me because our graduations. But I have a lot of people would sometimes do like the Friday night before, the sad, Sunday after or whatever day yeah. your graduation is. Um, like my cousin in the cities, I think they had theirs. Like he had his like a week and like two weeks almost after yeah. his graduation. Like, yeah, it's finding the right yeah. date that works. Yeah. I know. Um, so our graduations were always on that Sunday. Mm-hmm. So yeah, most people would host their parties on Friday or Saturday, and yeah. and you do want to pick out the right date. And most it seems like most graduates that we've worked with in the past, they pick it out what not only works for their family mm-hmm. but also their friends because they want to yeah, go to them to other too, people. right? Yeah, exactly. And we've had some where friends have hosted them together, which is kind of yeah, fun. We've fun. done we've been a part of those, which is you know they're besties. Why not host it? I mean, their families are so close already so we've been um, we've hosted a couple of those as well but yeah the date's important I wouldn't go too far into June though right doesn't there become a time yeah I would say too too far back or even too early yeah what would you say would be too early I think it depends also if you get out of school at the same time like usually after you graduate you're done with school but sometimes the rest of the school is not out yet entirely and after i graduate i think the kids had another week yet after us yeah so that's kind of different too if you have friends or families like still in school right and depends if you get out in june i always got out in the middle of may yeah um so like anything after labor day to me see or uh, memorial day sorry would seem weird but right. if like Sioux Falls, I know the past couple of yeah. years, they've been going right. into school until early June. So yeah. just kind of depends. Yeah, I think it does kind of depend. If it's that June day, I think not that much farther into June. No. I think I would stop just because activities start. and Not only with the time or the date, but the time is important. Yeah. Because a lot of people are trying to get to multiple ones. Even our graduates are still trying to bounce around and go. For actually every, I'm trying to think here, almost every graduation party, just thinking that we've hosted or been a part of planning, have those graduates have left during mm-hmm. so the parents kind of take over or the grandparents right. or other people are kind of right. taking over but they kind of all usually live together you know in that same neighborhood or same area because mm-hmm. obviously they're going to school same areas but so yeah they've they've left during the parties to go host yeah it does I, I would say most of them I can't say all of them I would say most of them have left but most but, of them yeah so invitations I think become a big part of uh, yeah. getting people there And this is so all over the board in terms of graduates and what they do. Some have the little flip cards, right? They come in this little book. Yeah. Almost, um, how else do you describe it? Flip flip cards? Like the tear-out Tear-offs, yeah, Yeah, that's what they're called. Tear-offs, yeah. You get like a pad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you just rip it off, Mm -hmm. almost like it's a notepad, right? Some have done true paper invitations that are mailed. Um, We've seen them all different kinds. My suggestion, and maybe you would agree, but maybe not, is get those tear-off cards for the kids to give at school, yep. right? You're not going to be at church just passing them out no. that way. For the most part, you're not. Um, but then you can get real invitations yeah. sent out to family and friends yep. and other people to attend. Would Would you say yeah. that's pretty standard? Yeah. Back in back in my day in high school, we yeah. did like the wallet pictures. Oh yeah, and so you'd usually leave like a message or whatever for your. But then I did a little like piece of paper that I taped on. It's so, like you're invited. So that was to all my friends at school, and then I did sure. real invitations for yeah. everyone else. So I feel like that's a pretty common right thing to do. I think making sure you get that date out there soon. Yeah. Um, end time of when it's happening rather than later. There usually has to be some chatter though between the friends. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> to make sure that yours is the same time as mine, mine or not. Yeah. And, yeah. How that all works out. Yeah. So venue, date time, location. Well, that's the venue, yeah. but yeah, I think yeah. that's the, the first steps. I think so too. What's next? I would say probably getting rentals on the books would probably be my next If you're doing steps. it at home, right? Yes. Or, yeah. I mean, if you're doing it outside, that's oh, yeah, a whole yeah, yeah, other yeah. monster yeah. we can. Yeah. But whether you're looking for a tent, I know tents are pretty common for graduations. We've just done one with a tent. Yeah. Um, but tables, chairs, linens, even I know sometimes people do like different like food machines or things like that. You can rent. Snow would, cone machines. Yeah. Or like popcorn or yeah. whatever you may have. Getting all of those things on the books would Rentals, be important. I couldn't agree with you more. It's so important. After you have that date, those that rental company, if you don't have those tables or chairs, sometimes like different organizations or service groups in town will rent them as well. Yeah. Or if you're a member of like the Knights of Columbus or your church, a lot of churches have these tables and chairs right. available that right. you can utilize. 
um, but making sure you get those reserved. And I think the big reason is, is every May, in this market anyway, we've got the uh, Avera race, the breast mm-hmm. cancer race. They take tons of tables and tons of tents. So we need to make sure that in this market anyway, that you've got them on hold. Yeah. I think really anywhere else because everybody else is thinking the same thing, right? We right. need to host this graduation party. Right. Exactly. I like hosting outdoor graduations. I do too. Well, I kind of like the mix, right? So like we hosted one last summer where, or last uh, May, where it was a mix of everything kind of in their patio space. We had some stuff in the house Mm -hmm. that was going on and then a lot of stuff in a tent outside and tables that were out, not in the tent itself. Yeah. Mine. Yeah. I think so too. I kind of like the mix because there are going to be some people who just don't want to maybe sit outside and Mm -hmm. others that will, especially for some family that might be be there for multiple hours Mm -hmm. to give them some options of where they can kind of hang out. And I think giving people that space to hang out in a sense is also good. They do. Some people I think might miss like, oh, I'm just not going to do tables or chairs because people are just going to be swinging in, swing out. Yeah. Whereas some people are though going to be staying for multiple hours. So you want to give them that option option yeah i think that is probably one of the biggest mistakes that i see at some graduation celebrations that we've been to not necessarily ones that we've been a part of because we always try to coach and Mm -hmm. say that you need to have seating yeah you've got people that have traveled in from afar and they want to be seated right not everybody wants to be able to stand throughout and if it is a couple hours because maybe they're spending the night at your house right or at aunt and uncles or whatever it looks like but making sure they've got adequate seating is Super important. Yeah. But I've been to a lot of graduations before where it's none, right? Yeah. You just kind of grab your food and you stand around with your plate of coleslaw and beans and whatever <laughs> else. Speaking of beans and coleslaw, food. Yeah, it's a huge part of it, I think, anyways. Yeah. And every, so we've done, oh my gosh, so many different graduation parties. One we had where, well, first of all, before I even go there, you want to make sure from our standpoint anyway, that you're incorporating what the graduate likes. Yes. Right. That's the biggest. Sometimes mom and dad want something simple or quick and easy, or maybe you want it catered and super high end. But what if your graduate does not want that? Right. What if they truly want chicken fingers and corn dogs? Then you do chicken fingers and corn dogs, right? right? Exactly. So you just need to make sure that you're talking to them first as well, because you want them to have a good time. This is their one graduation, right? Right. And people will know, um, like attendees that walk in, they're like, if they know them well enough to know like, oh gosh, I know that they love this. So like, go figure, I I see this, you Mm -hmm. know, Mm -hmm. that's always a fun conversation kind of to have too. We did a Mexican uh, little bar once where we had the chips and the queso and the guac and all the sour cream. People could make their own nachos and it was so fun. But that graduate, she loved that Uh stuff, right? Uh Like that was her big deal. And she wanted that and different sodas, but she wanted bottled sodas and all different flavors. Yeah. Yeah. She loved different bottles of soda. Now I'm not talking like, I'm talking like old vintage glass bottles. So it was fun. You know, and she loved candy. So we had a huge candy station, huge with with branded bags. She had her own branded bags on them. And wow. That yeah, is cool. It was really awesome. But she didn't want anything else. I think we might have had some cookies. I'm trying to remember. But I think her biggest thing was the desserts or yeah. the dessert was the, the candy station. But having those little touches of the branded bags and all those yeah. other little elements is, is always fun. But the food piece, um, I would probably say we just need, I would suggest you spend time talking to your graduate about what they want. Yeah. I mean, like my little guy loves cereal. Like we're probably not going to serve. Probably like, not going to serve cereal. Cocoa Krispies. <laughs> but it's party. not impossible no, by any means. it's not impossible. But sometimes there are some things though we worried about. I know the one we did last spring, she really wanted um, chicken fingers. Yeah. And, but our always worry about was like, how do you keep that to make sure it lasts and, and crunchy, stay warm right? for like five hours? Yeah. So I know that's something that internally we discussed a lot with the family, with our caterer company and everything. And so it worked out. It did work out. It did work out. People great. loved them. And it was very her. I mean, we I remember we asked her yeah. the one thing she wanted, and that was it. Chicken fingers. Yep. Chicken strips. Yep. And they stayed crunchy. God bless that caterer because, <laughs> you know, when you fry stuff, yeah. it can get soggy and mushy, and it stayed yeah. great. It was good. And the fruit kebabs, remember those? Yep. They were yep. so beautifully presented. We stuck them in a nice big, we cut out the watermelon, or cut the yep. watermelon, and then we had them poked Stick in there out. in the sticks. She wanted rub your floats. Oh yeah, I forgot about the root beer floats. Man, that was that was a hard um that was a hard space or a hard time to do them because remember that day it rained in yep. the morning? Yep. So it's kind of chilly but not. And to do root beer floats, floats, it's more of a summery thing. 
But that graduate loved root beer floats. And people knew that she loved them. So yep. when they saw them, it was great. And then she loved um, Eileen's cookies. So oh, yeah. we had those special done as well. So yeah, making sure you incorporate those elements versus um, just inserting your kind of own opinion. The nice part about what we do is we kind of insert different ways or different takes on it. Like anybody could have served fresh fruit, but we did the kebabs and, and poked them into the watermelon you right. know and we had cool straws for all the root beer floats so just trying to find that different spin and different element um or way to make it hers i think is important yeah and i think as a tip for people i don't think you should uh skimp out on like the delivery and setup because that day is no. a lot you know you think like, good it's a, point it's a oh it's a big day for everybody i yeah. know like my family like you literally get up i like finished up everything i my graduation was <laughs> at one you have to be there at 12 and you literally mm -hmm. like you are the last one almost to your party it seems yeah. like at times you know so we had to have everything set out and ready to go You're well so right. i you know my family did not have that. we had did everything ourselves but like what it, we it would be worth it to have delivery delivery and help setting up and everything yeah. so that's my tip. This is not relevant to um, Drew. Will probably laugh when I when I talk about this story, but it's not really relevant to a graduation party. But I was parked at Hy-Vee recently on a Sunday. I usually will go quick grocery shop a little bit on Sundays when I do grocery shop. I'm not a good grocery <laughs> shopper. But I parked and I had totally enough space. Right there's always a spot that we park at our Hy-Vee. Okay. Actually, Calvin calls it the Kramer spot. It's funny, but we all know like that's where we park. Mm -hmm. I park there. Drew parks there. It's always on this far end, right? And I, it was snowy out, but I knew I was in the lines. Like you could clearly see it. Plus I was really far over. It's on the end of an aisle or on the end of the, the lane there. And I come back out and I was almost late to my sauna appointment. You know why? I couldn't get in my car and the whole, re like I truly couldn't even fit a body sideways <laughs> to get into my car. So I have Starbucks in one hand. The groceries are in there. It is snowing. I cannot, I don't, I don't know what to do. Obviously, most people are like, well, just go open the passenger yeah. side and climb over. I didn't want to do that. I have a nice car. I just right. didn't. And the snowy out. And I have boots on. I'm not going to lug these boots <laughs> off or take my boots off or crawl or whatever. It was a huge thing. So I sat there. I was so super annoyed because this person was next to me. If they would have backed out, I swear to God my mirrors would have been taken off. So what happened is this dad, this dad like running to his car with balloons and a cake in hand. <laughs> and I'm like, oh gosh, this is, this is why we do uh -huh. events, right? So you have this panicked dad running with balloons on a Sunday, close to probably the time when stuff's supposed to be set up. He's got a cake in hand. It's snowing out, balloons in one hand, trying to get in there. That's why we do events. That's, That's why you do delivery. Yes. Right? Yes. I know, long, long point in my long story. story but, but it gets the point across. It's important. Deliveries. It is so inexpensive. I think Hy-Vee, shout out to Hy-Vee, but I'm pretty sure they deliver for like $25 yeah. or something super yes. inexpensive. Awesome part about Hy-Vee, another big shout out to them, is they deliver ice. Yes. When you don't have a big enough event where you need a true ice trailer or ice truck on site, which we've done that for plenty of events, they deliver ice, people. Mm -hmm. They deliver everything, everything you possibly need for events. I know. We literally ordered almost everything through them for this graduation almost. from their bakery, everything. from like physical grocery items, coffee. like chips, to everything. coffee, to the root beer from the yeah. liquor store, because they were like yeah. little mini kegs. Yeah. And they all worked together to get their orders, and it was all in the same vehicle. Love it. It was amazing. hy -V, you can thank us any way that you would like <laughs> by mentioning you this podcast seven times. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about outside, do you have anything else on food? No, I don't oh, think so. Let's talk, can we talk about desserts, though, different desserts? Uh, yeah, because sure. I'm I think traditionally, about it. Yeah. <laughs> traditionally used to have been lush cakes, right? Yeah. So I think um, we've done lots of different things. We've done a Rice Krispie cake one time for a graduation party. We've done cupcakes. We've done the milk and cookie bar. We've done a lot of different things. Yeah. Ooh, one year, um, I got all excited. We did a s'mores bar once as well. Smart. Yeah, it was so fun. So they had a really nice built-in uh, fire pit. I'm about to place, okay. but fire pit. And um, so we just set out everything out there, and people just loved it. But that's that what she fun. wanted, you know? But um, so I think desserts are a big yeah, factor, wouldn't you say? Yeah, cake anymore. No. What did you have at yours? A cake? But that was way back in the day. Like, there was not s'mores bars. <laughs> Graduated high school in 1998. <laughs> Shout out to the Mighty Mighty Bison in Central City, Nebraska. <laughs> CCHS. <laughs> uh, let's talk floral, decor, how to really make an event your own. Not just floral or decor, but there's a lot of different things. You can incorporate yeah. your tennis rackets and all that stuff. Why don't you yeah. share a little bit about what that looks like? 
I think the personal side of that is where this can kind of come out. So whether it is a theme, I know a lot of people now sometimes do colors. So yeah. I kind of picked um, my parents. I love them. But they kind of want to do traditional. Like my school colors were red and black. Yeah. And I didn't really want that. Sure. And my favorite color is blue, but I also was going to Augustana. So I was oh, like yeah, yeah. blue. Yeah. But I did a lighter version of blue, but I did blue and black then. Just says like a mm-hmm. happy mm-hmm. medium. But people do their future school colors, their favorite colors. Yeah. Whether you it's a favorite style, have like to have your school colors. Whatever it is whatever. you want, I yeah. think. And and go with it and run with it. So I am trying to think here of all the graduation parties we have done. I think there may be one or two over the years that truly were school colors. The rest were not. If you have cool school Ooh. colors, I guess go for it. But yeah, maybe <laughs> there's not many of those out there. So <laughs> maybe, uh, but yeah, they the all the ones I'm just thinking off here. Yeah, I think we've done like an aqua and a blue. We've done some peach. We've done these purples yep. and grays and whites. I truly cannot remember the last time we did one with. School colors, yeah, which is good. Good for those, yeah, good graduates. for those people. Good for those students because they're truly thinking outside of the box. You ask them what some of their favorite things are, and those are some of our discovery meetings yeah. that we have, which are fun. But and you don't have to incorporate floral, no, at all. By no means, no. We did a travel theme once, and maybe we'll show some photos of this through the opener. But um, where it was like a travel theme, where we yeah. had a suitcase and it was kind of vintage suitcase piece. We had a globe, kind of old vintagey pieces, because he loved to travel. Yeah, you know. So I think it's just finding what what makes you happy. If you're mm-hmm. a huge football sports nut, do a whole football theme. Yeah, exactly. celebration, right? Exactly. Put out your jackets. Put out your medals. Yeah. But there's cool ways to display them too. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And pictures I think you can do that in moderation but I think they're awesome to just showcase yeah. from either when you were little or your favorite moments growing up or yeah um make sure like you get that. those pictures in there and I think it's important too um one area that I think sometimes maybe gets overlooked but even having a guest book I still have mine I you do yeah I like at your parents house yeah yeah yeah, yeah, okay. yeah 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 <laughs> Um, but it was like the, all the places you'll go. And so people wrote messages in that. That's cool. And so I remember looking at that a couple weeks after I graduated when I got around to all of it. And that was one of my favorite parts of the whole party is just to have that like space that you don't always get to talk to a bunch of people. And sometimes, you know, those messages get left out in a normal conversation. And so I think that's another important thing too. Yeah. I also think that while we're talking about the decor pieces, uh, boys, just so you know, guys, they like parties too. Yeah. <laughs> so many times I feel like, uh, I don't know if they, they may not get asked or it's maybe the mother or father pushing to host the party and the guys don't want it or not. But I think making sure that there is equal opportunity for both parties, <laughs> right? Yes. It seems like we do more f- female celebrations. Yeah. Yeah. For the yeah. most part f- um, for graduation wise, but the guys love it too. I think so Just too. figure out what they like to do and how they want to showcase it. They're still yeah. graduating like exactly. everybody else, right? Exactly. But yeah, they don't, um, they don't have to do the floral, figure out what those statement pieces are. You mentioned pictures, hugely important to put some out by the guest book. You don't just have to have a wall of photos. No. Do you remember back in the day, maybe you don't, I keep saying back in the day, but where people would just take poster board and they would just do yep. picture, 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 picture. Yep. And you'd like use glue to get it all on there. You you don't have, yeah. no. Nope, you don't have There's to There's awesome that. ways to display photos this year. Yeah. Or this now. Yeah, now. at this time. Yeah, but this statement time. pieces is important too. I mean, we've kind Ooh, of talk done- about the statement piece we did yeah. last year. Yeah, so we did a huge paper flower wall. Yeah. And so it was actually on a piece of coroplast and we attached all of these huge, huge paper of flowers. Huge My gosh, wasn't it like six eight, foot by four? Eight foot by eight six foot? Eight foot by four, four foot. foot. Yep. It was huge piece of coroplast. And grommeted. Yep, yep. And so we hung it- from their siding. Yep, with comp- the siding yep, hooks. Yep. Attached them all, had her name on it. Um, and then she was able to take the flowers off, actually, because they yeah. were just command strips and could use them. She thinks she used them in her dorm room. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Her mom sent us a photo of it afterwards, yeah. which I so, love. So it's cool yeah. to even do things like that. I know I'll try keep talking about myself, I guess. But my brother <laughs> at sure. his, speaking of his, he did really care about what his party was. Good. And, but one of his big statement pieces and that he really wanted to showcase was he's very artistic. And um, we had a senior project and I did the same thing as well. We at Mars School, we had a senior project. You had to spend the whole semester on it. He designed a golf course as a senior wow, project. that's cool. And it was amazing. So that was a huge piece. He like hung it up in our garage. It was huge, but it was so cool. 
cool. And something he was super proud of, yeah. but that not very many people had seen. Good for him. Prior to, to that. Showcase so it like that, that was a cool yeah. like statement piece inadvertently in yeah. a sense, but people have done photo booths and yeah. strips coming out yeah. and yeah i think there's ways to be able to showcase it i would also one last thing um would be games yeah find other stuff some people do stay there for hours like you had said put bean bags out the big yard jenga um yard yahtzee there's so many different things to do bubble stations for the kids mm -hmm. like if you're doing outdoor i mean most of these are for the most part pretty yeah. in and outdoors but finding stuff for other people to do Agreed. because you are going to have have those people who maybe just know you and your parents, but they don't know anybody else, mm -hmm. right? And they want to they want to be felt comfortable, or they want to feel comfortable right. when they're there at the party. So give them other things to do. I agree. Which is yeah, which is nice. But I'm excited for graduation season. Me too. Me too. Maybe we can pretend that we're graduates again and host our own party. <laughs> oh, we we could do that whenever. I guess could I guess we could. Okay, I think it's your turn for power round. I like how you're calling it power round now. Is it not what I should no, call No, I it? love okay. it. Okay. Okay, so I've been asking these questions for a few different people now, and I kind of, I, I was just telling you, I'm like, I don't really even know what my answers would be, so. Which is a good thing. Oof. Okay, I'm ready. If you were not involved with the career you are now, what would you be doing? I have always wanted to own a coffee shop. Yeah. Like a coffee shop bookstore, kind of like Barnes Noble. Gosh, right. darn it. I don't know if they stole my idea. Yeah. But coffee shop-ish. I just love the vibes, like chill and just relax and Me bake too. some stuff. Yeah, you know, for sure. Coffee shop. If you could be any animal, what would it be? I think I would be a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the water a lot. Yeah. You know, but. Oh, gosh, do goldfish live a lot? Oh, no, those no, are betas. Like, beta, betas don't live, live long, oh, right? Oh, I don't know if either of them have a super long lifespan, right. but... But I think goldfish are pretty. Yeah, they are. And, like, swim. Yeah. They have cute little houses. <laughs> <laughs> goldfish houses. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. But Fish. I also like uh, cookie dough. Yeah. 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 Okay. What's one thing on your bucket list? I would love to go to Ireland. Yeah, For me too. Sure. I am Irish. I don't know how much. I probably I think mine's pretty small, but I'll say that I am. <laughs> Drew's mom and Drew's aunt have been, and they loved it. It rained a lot when they yeah. were there, but I would love to go to Ireland. I would too. Yeah. What is one hobby you would begin if you could? No limits. Ooh. I wish I had the patience and maybe the hobby piece to like refinish furniture, mm, like yeah. do stuff. Because we pay people to do that for us now, like for even our office, but like refinish furniture. Yeah, that's a good one. Because I bought those pieces that we have in our office now, but I paid somebody else, <laughs> else to refinish. <laughs> yeah, thank God for Anchor Creations. Oh my gosh, but yeah. I yeah, that would be a good one. What does your dream day look like? Oh, like I get to sleep in. <laughs> And just have my own time to work out, like no schedule. Like I could just mm -hmm. roll into Orange Theory whenever I wanted to, Ever. not on any time. And they just teach me. <laughs> then I go to the sauna and then I go drink coffee at Cafea and just chill. Then I eat a whole lot of uh, chocolate cake. I was like QCB cake for sure. <laughs> QCB cake. And then watch movies with my husband. And then like snuggle with the boys. That does sound like a good I mean, day. that kind of sounds like some of my Sundays <laughs> for the most part, but... Like, I don't need a beach. I just need to chill. Yeah. Yeah. Downtime. Would you rather speak every language in the whole world? Yes. Or talk to animals? You didn't let me finish that. <laughs> I don't want to speak to animals. I'm sorry. No. no. Yeah. Every language. What's your favorite emoji? Ooh, I do the laughing and the crying one. Yeah. The laugh and cry <laughs> one. You know, where it's like cheeks are up and the laughing and the one. Crying. Yeah. Yep, yep. And finally, at which store would you like to max out your credit card? Gap <laughs> for sure. Oh no, Athleta. Well, I guess they're yeah, owned by the same. They are owned by the same company. I would so. go to Gap half the card, Athleta the other half, half, half of the card. Nice, nice. That yeah. was fun. That was fun. I'm excited to ask you next time. Yeah, I'll have to wait maybe a few weeks, but yeah, we'll do it. But thanks for talking all things graduation. Thanks for having me. Caps off to you, Callie Trout. You as well, Addie. Thank you for listening to today's episode of The Good Work, and congratulations to this year's graduates. We hope that our tips can help you with your party. You won't want to miss next week's episode as we take you behind the scenes of The Good Work. Don't forget to subscribe to The Good Work on YouTube and iTunes, and follow the event company on social media to stay up to date on the good work that we are part of each day.